Welcome, everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel, here with my partner, Clark Kellogg. Just ahead on College Hoops Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. We'll reveal the best of the little guys in our mid-major top ten list, as well as tell you where the top recruit in the nation is headed. But first, let's take a look at the best games of the past week in college basketball. We had a pair of top 25 teams in an old-fashioned grudge match. Kentucky got by Texas. It was a real treat to see these teams both come to play in what turned out to be a fantastic game. They showed us why they deserved their spots in the top 25. This was an entertaining and fun game to watch. Kentucky played some absolutely stifling defense. They made the guys on the other side work for every basket, and you can see that reflected in the shooting percentage. They never let up on the defensive end. That really took the pressure off the offense and allowed them to dictate the tempo of the game. To me, that was the biggest factor. And two of the sport's traditional powerhouses squared off in a meeting of college basketball royalty. Louisville got the better of Duke. These teams are woven into the fabric of college basketball, and even the casual fan is interested when they're on the court together. Billing was the hero of this one with a terrific performance. His 16 points led the team. Watching him basically put his teammates on his back and single-handedly carry them to the victory in a big game situation like this was stupendous. Now let's unveil our list of the top 10 mid-major teams in college hoops. These teams could probably hold their own in any of the power conferences if they had the chance. I just love talking about the non-power conference team. This is the kind of stuff that gets me fired up for March. A couple of these teams have the potential to be very dangerous in the tournament. No one more so than the team at the top of the list. San Francisco is a team that I'm not sure should even be included on this list because the schedule they've played could have put them in the toughest conference in the country. When you're a mid-major team, yet play that kind of schedule and still have a decent record, that says an awful lot. There's news off the court as well as on at this time of the year as the top high school players in the country are signing their letters of intent. The signing of one player made an especially big splat. The Duke Blue Devils have to be considered the big winners in the recruiting wars this week. They brought in a young man whose talent is undeniable. Chan is the type of player that coaches dream about. Everyone on that campus was buzzing about this signing. There have been so many great guards that have played for this school that it's come to be known as a guard factory. This program has shown again and again that it is capable of taking a player with raw skills and refining him into a polished, all-around backcourt player. For a player with his natural ability, that should be a perfect fit. That'll do it for us here in the studio. For my partner, Clark Kellogg, I'm Greg Gumbel. Thanks for watching College Hoops Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. Enjoy the exciting week of College Hoops action to come.